Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here, doing another movie review this week, and it's a surprising sequel to the 2012 Disney film Wreck-It Ralph, simply called Ralph Breaks the Internet. You know, with Wreck-It Ralph teaming up with Penelope Von Sweets to surf the internet in order to find a new steering wheel for the Shirker Rush game so that way they can come back home and continue to play in the arcade. Yeah. Stars John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, Gail Godot you know, from Wonder Woman, Taj P. Henson, Jack McBrayer, Jane Lynch, Ellen Took, Alfred Melinda, Ed O'Neill, Bill Hader, and John DiMaggio, which also features a lot of uh, cameo appearances, you know, by all the uh, Disney princesses of all the voice actors, present the roles, and all this other stuff that's included. It's written by Phil Johnson and Pamela Ribon, and it's directed by Rich Moore and Phil Johnson. The movie begins six years later at Little Rock's uh, Family Fun Center in Arcade. Rekka Ralph and Benelby Bon Sweet have been the best friends ever since they first met. You know, they're just hanging around together every night, you know, playing all these video games such as Tron, which actually suffered a glitch. You know, they thought that Little Rock had fixed it, but apparently I think it was having some trouble. <laughs> Pretty funny. And of course they're just, you know, going out to all these uh that burger uh, restaurant inside the game, even having some root beer at the bar. So they're having the best time of their lives. I mean Ralph continues to go on with his life, but Benelope on the other hand was feeling very bored with her game predictability and wishes for something new. So one day, Ralph attempts to fill her desires by creating a secret bonus track at the game Sugar Rush. Yeah, it's a racing car game, as you may have seen in, in the first movie. In the first movie, where you know, because Benelope, you know, actually uh, was racing against all the other racers around, so apparently she took a, a secret detour to go straight into it. The only problem is uh, the player who's playing the game, the steering wheel was going out of control and and it, it got broken off and worse, the steering wheel had broke in half. So unfortunately um, they were hoping to find a way to repair it but here's the problem. Sugar Rush was discontinued. So one of the kids decided to find a replacement for, for the game on eBay, but it's very expensive, so yes, they have to bid that. But he has no choice but to unplug you know, Sugar Rush, leaving all the, the game characters homeless. But that night, after talking with Fix It Felix Jr., Ralph decided to enter the internet you know, with Penelope joining in. Uh, as uh, Lurox recently installed a Wi-Fi router so that way he'll be able to obtain the new wheel on eBay of course yeah he had trouble <laughs> pronouncing the name you know, he thought it was e-boy <laughs> so once they came together they actually uh, went inside surfing the internet and the internet was like <sighs> like a huge city so you begin to see uh, all these websites around, through all these buildings. Yeah, you see a lot of random people looking almost like uh, Funko Pops that you see. Yeah, those yeah Funko Pop vinyls. So they're going around surfing, and then you see all these pop-up ads and all this other stuff. So it's just like a real city right there. <laughs> um, it's pretty interesting. So then they they went straight to eBay just so they can be able to bid on on the steering wheel for Sugar Rush but they actually went up to <laughs> twenty seven uh, thousand and one cents but the problem is they just can't pay because they don't have a credit card 
get a loan credit card number. So in order for them to uh, grab it, they had to um, find a better way to make more money. So that's when they went to uh, a website called BuzzTube, which is like YouTube, you know, but you have to get more hearts. It's, it's a viral site where they post all these random videos like cats and all these uh, crazy stunt videos and all this other crazy stuff that they put into. Well, they were going to actually go there to put all that. However, but before they actually went to uh, BuzzTube, um, Rick and Ralph and Penelope had met a guy you know, just selling a pop-up ad for, for video games. They went inside, they were trying to find a way to make more money. So the one game that they entered turned out to be, get this, an online racing card game called Slaughter Race. Yeah, which, once you go inside, it's like a Grand Theft Auto type of game, you know, all set in, in the... <laughs> in a bad neighborhood of Los Angeles. Yeah, because it looks really, it's all smoggy and, and terrible. So when Ralph and Penelope went inside the, the factory just to steal the car, but they were forced to return it, that's when we meet um, a girl named Shank, along with the rest of her crew. So they, they're about to uh, Compliment uh, Benelope's uh, driving skills because yeah, she can race as fast as she can. She's very good at it too because she, because uh, after all, ever since she was playing Sugar Rush, I mean, she knows she could do all of her glitches and everything. So it was like a, a race uh, between them and and Rekka Ralph with Benelope. So they're going all through all these obstacles and everything. So that's when Shanks suddenly uh, records a video with Rick and Ralph and you know making all these funny faces. Well, actually just using that that blower causes his face to go completely uh, numb in here. So that's been sent to uh, BuzzTube. So so that's when they finally went to BuzzTube and you know and that and all of his videos have been gone viral. So hoping with all the money they make, since they couldn't make as much for slaughter race they figure well why not I mean Rick and Ralph can just go for a lot of viral videos get enough hearts to actually make as much as they can because for a while they only made forty three dollars that wasn't enough so they, they need to make a whole lot more to to earn the the uh, eBay auction for the steering wheel of Sugar Rush so because it's only like eight hours left so when when it was finally done, he finally got it. But then <clears throat> that's when it leads to problems because, well, <clears throat> Rekka Ralph doesn't want her to go back to Slaughter Race because of what happened. Figured this was a bad idea. <clears throat> so they decided to send her to uh, Disney. <laughs> that's where we spotted uh, all the cameos. Yeah, like we, we spot uh, Marvel... Star Wars, uh, Pixar, and stuff like like Buzz Lightyear, you know the the Stormtroopers, you know Marvel like like Groot for instance, and all, all of that that leads to um, <clears throat> the Disney princesses. Yeah, so you get to see Ariel, Cinderella, as well as um, Anna and Elsa, Moana, Mulan. <laughs> And all the rest. So, and it's really interesting too, because even though yes, they did have the CGI uh, versions of themselves, because they were all hand-drawn animation too. You know, for Tierra, Ariel, Pocahontas, uh, Mulan, Cinderella, Snow White, <clears throat> Ariel. Yeah, they were all in CGI form now compared to their current ones like <laughs> like Rapunzel for Tangled and Merida from Brave yeah, from their studio of course Pixar so that's cool so Benelope is just joining in the game and 
just trying to learn all, all, all the stuff here and then, well, she's trying to find a better way to deal with her life so she figured, you know, going to Slaughter Race will continue her journey. Well, Rekka Rao decided to throw in a virus to actually save her out of there, but that didn't work out. That, and that led to it because, because of the insecurity that went into it. It, it creates a, a huge conversion of wreck ralph And that's where, it, yeah, like, either... Because I know they were making jokes like, Con Ralph or Ralphzilla. So that was a huge nod. So realized that it was his fault. You know, he made it up for it. They they uh, solved all the problems, and by the end, everything went back to normal. But now we decided to stay in the internet um, through Slaughter Race, and you know, just so they can, you know, just have fun hanging out with Shank and her crew. Well, Ralph is just spending time, having a good life, you know, hanging out with everyone. I mean, we also found out that Fix It Felix Jr., you know, with his wife, you know, they, they, they had children and all that, so everything was going great for them. Ah, oh, but it was really fun. It was fun to watch. Um, I wasn't disappointed at all. You, you could tell that they, they really took the guts and effort to do so. And this is how you do the internet right. You know, unlike that CGI animated feature from Sony called the Emoji Movie, where they try to do the internet in a whole different way. And it was done pretty poorly, too, with all these emojis around. This is how you do an internet justice. I mean, yes, there, there are scenes that they can get ahead of itself. But, because of course, you know, there's even jokes about, you know, like pop-up blockers and and all these um, pop-up bads too. And even the, the comments that you get on these websites, like sometimes you get good comments, other times you get bad comments. Meanwhile, they post all these viral videos and they put all these stars or you know, likes, dislikes and all that. I mean, you can even spot all these other websites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google, and all the rest, all in there. Even Amazon. <laughs> so, um, but in a way, it still had a story to tell. the The whole key of, of this movie is about friendship. You know, how long is that going to last, or how that's going to turn out? But in the end, you know. They work things out, and they'll go for the better. Um, there's no villain in the movie. I mean, unless you have to count for, like, a giant uh, wreck of Ralph, you know, which are all put together with all the other wreck of Ralphs from, through a, uh, a glitch. It, it was a virus that they had to add in that, that he had to offer. Um, there really wasn't a real villain in the movie. Okay, I mean, yes, Record Ralph was supposed to be the actual villain through the game. Yeah, with Fix It Felix Jr., you know, saving uh, everyone, because he's the hero. But that was just the whole point of the game. But as a movie, there isn't a villain. So, so that's quite different. Uh, but it's great that they have characters like uh, Shank. Uh, and uh, the rest of the crew that they got, and I thought that was pretty funny that they even throw in a song through uh, Slaughter Race, so I thought that was clever. Um, I guess you could say it's sort of a resemblance to uh, Fast and the Furious, because uh, Gail Godot was in one of the Fast and the Furious sequels, so that, that makes sense. So it's almost like, wow, she's, she's really getting there. Um... But um, everything, so I had a lot of uh, great references to other movies and stuff and, and video games. Um, it is a shame we didn't get to see a Mario cameo, you know, like the first film. But again, we get to see Sonic and 
all the rest of these video game characters as we all know um, but we also do get to see uh, Disney care uh, a lot of cameos from all the Disney princesses and stuff and yeah Marvel you know Pixar yeah we get spot Buzz like here and the rest and and spot Groot we even spot uh, and Stan Lee in the movie was sad to say when this came out uh, Stanley passed away so that would have been a tribute to him too but it was nice um, great music too uh, great animation that they throw in the uh, great characters joining in so it's a fun sequel highly recommend it so anyway that's Ralph Breaks the Internet aka Wrecker Ralph 2 and I give it five stars I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.